Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Really Go Thief Gold. Today's mission is Strange Bedfellows, and after the ultimately successful but frustrating ordeal that was Escape, both of the remaining missions are absolute cakewalks. They're excursions. I don't anticipate any real trouble at all with either of them. Today is Strange Bedfellows, so let's load the save from the end of Escape. The Strange Bedfellows briefing has been posted to the playlist, so let's look at our objectives. The Hammerites have been preaching about the Trickster for years. Maybe they have some advice on how to deal with him for real. But with all the trouble you've been to them lately, you'll have to sneak in past their guards to talk to someone in charge. The Hammers will never help you if you make the situation any worse. Better stay out of any more fights with them. Those objectives will change before long. We'll skip purchases. I mean, come on, who do you think we are? And we find ourselves doing another revisit. This time we're back at the temple from undercover, but things have changed. Listen for the dramatic chord as we approach each corpse. Dun dun. I have a bad feeling about this. As well you should. There's another body back here. I just like to look around. Bloodstains, but no extra corpse. Okay. I'm just wasting time. There's really very little to do in this mission because they kind of take loot out of the game in the last two levels. There's one piece of loot in Strange Bedfellows, which we'll get. And there are none in the last level, so that really cuts out a lot of the work. What happened here? And where are all the hammerites? There are plenty of arrows to pick up if you're interested. That guard has some broadheads. There are more broadheads in the barracks off to either side. Let's look at our new objectives. Investigate the situation and locate the hammerites. Pretty straightforward. Let's peek at our map. It's the exact same as the map from Undercover. No surprise there. So, let me talk to you briefly <clears throat> about whether or not we're going to go after the hidden objective in this mission. There is a hidden objective to destroy all of the insect beasts. Now, Supreme Ghost Rule Number 2 requires us to complete all objectives. But, the only way we can trigger that objective is by attacking an insect beast. So, and before the objective exists, there's no explicit requirement to do that. I don't know if it counts or not. I think that without the objective, attacking an insect beast qualifies as a bust of our regular ghost. We're gonna bust Supreme anyway, so we're gonna skip the hidden objective, but if you go for it, there are four insect beasts in total you'd have to kill. I'll point them out as we get near them and sneak around them, and you can attack and destroy all four if you want to. Let's... move on up to the main chapel. In the room up ahead, there's the first insect beast, as well as a red spider. We want to avoid Damn. both of them. Looks like Constantine got here before me. There remain plenty of broadhead arrows in either of the side chapels around this main one. <coughs> So be careful, because they do come into this room and they can see you, if I remember right, so... Let's just carefully get across the tile floor, and the fallen doors register as a metal surface when stepping on them. So you have to be careful of that, too. We're no longer 
immune from alerting people. No longer free to run around at full speed like we were in Undercover. There's plenty of equipment in the reliquary. More broadhead arrows. I think that's it, but there might be other stuff in there. I don't really know. I'm being careful because there's a patrolling monkey man down there. We want to jump down into the garden. And get to the ground floor that way. Because we do need to get our one piece of loot, after all. It's the only reason to go downstairs, but... Oh. Can't take damage, either. Much better. So now that we're in the garden... We're gonna have to sneak a full loop around. You see a merry hopping frog here too, and that's not gonna work, so. Anyway, let me show you the problem right off the bat. The loot is through this door, but because of that spider you can hear, we need to come at it from the other side. Here, let me just show you, and then reload. Use that moss arrow to get a little speed. Maybe this is the room with the loot. Anyway. I can't remember if it's the second or third room. I think it's the third one. Yeah. Because the loot is in this room. We have to approach from the other side, which means we have to sneak all the way around because the basement is inaccessible to us now. <clears throat> that was a lot of digression to establish why we're about to go to so much trouble. So, two monkey men and a frog patrol the ground level, and they pretty much do a full... They cover the entire level, and they do so in a tragically randomized fashion. So... As in Undercover, getting inside the rooms and hiding is a pretty good strategy. We've already read this. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 108. Mortar cannot hold when the stone is not strong and clean. Before beginning thy endeavors, look to thy material, both physical and spiritual. 
So, well, we've got a bit of a harbor down here. Let's wait for an opening and keep working our way farther down the hall. I made a couple of step noises then that no one was close enough to hear, which is good. So really, all that's involved here is... Moving in a stepwise fashion through all these rooms, hiding where we can, and timing the three patrollers without making noise. Flash bomb, if you want it. And an empty chest. Okay. And here inside this doorway, we have another shadow to hide in. Which is always preferable, because we can see what's going on. Lots of equipment in this room if you're interested. I think 12 broadhead arrows and an explosive mine. If you're tired of the pressure of sneaking past these guys and just want to murder them. I wouldn't blame you. Oh, there's a frog hopping a little circle in this next room, which presents us with a couple of problems. First is that we can't hide inside the room, and the second is that we have to time our movement past it such that he doesn't catch us. And third is managing to be quiet while we do all that. Oh, this could be bad. Yeah, this is bad. So there's no way he's gonna pass. Without an alert. Nope. So, we gotta move fast now. That's all there is to it. That wasn't fast enough. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure the frog went into search mode. Got myself into quite a little jam here. You the ha so he just has no interest in taking a random turn off of this hallway, does he? Oh. Fun for me now. 
Yep. Too much noise. reload. That's okay. I have a better idea of my available options now. Unbelievable. Ah, the joys of randomized patrols. Maybe the frog will come through the door. Maybe he'll go down the hall. Maybe he'll start to go down the hall and turn right around. No one knows. Like that. This time he didn't even come this direction. Obviously that's ideal, so I won't complain too much, except to note how difficult it makes it to sneak. There's no predictability from our bad guys. The trick is not to get impatient. The trick is to move one step at a time. And hope that the frog picks a favorable direction. Now he wants to come back this way. Alright, I have to admit it, I came into this mission a little bit cocky, and I haven't been patient enough. I'm gonna rectify that. You need to move one step at a time, and only save inside a safe spot. There are just too many variables, too many things that can go wrong. until we get out of the temple. Things get a lot easier once we finally get our little bit of loot and get down into the caves. But that's ahead of where we are right now. Not a safe spot, good to know. And he wants to come this way. Well, of course he does. How could he not? Alright, so we do have to pick open the door. It's also good to know. 
Really? Get farther out of the way. Hope that's good, and it is. Let's just duck into this room and make a real save so we don't run into the same problem we did last time, or rather, if we run into the same problem as last time. We don't have to go as far back. Because really, getting past this is just a matter of good timing. And staying quiet. Oh, look at that. No trouble at all that time. Once we get in here, nothing comes by, so... So the first door on the right as we come down this hallway has our one piece of loot in it. It's not really much trouble to pick it open, but the spider can spot us as we try to cross into the room, so... Once we get the door open... If we can get in with only a first alert, that's good enough for me. So head over here and pick up the purse. 100, total 100, and congratulations, you found all of the loot in Thief Gold. That's right, that is the last piece in the entire game. We gotta get out the same way, and even though it's tile, we have to move kind of fast. Like that. Perfect. Now we have to get all the way back out, this is mostly the same way we came in, but... It's not so bad. Not really. Just have to get a little bit lucky. You will note there are now human remains in the oven. Guess Constantine wants us all to know how badass he is. Hates him some hammerites. You know, it's hard to begrudge him that. Really, who wouldn't hate the Hammerites? Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Double dose. Look, he's stuck. Well, that's awesome.
Got to be more careful. What? He can't just stop. I need to go through there. This is not good, folks. This could destroy us. Oh good. We we're able to liberate him. Freedom, my friend. Freedom by quick load. Bad timing. Doubly bad timing. Alright folks, we're close now. Good, good, good. Now we can just wait for the graveyard to empty out and mantle up to the west balcony. <clears throat> I have to admit, as tough as it was, I really enjoyed Escape. Despite my frustrations, I could, you know, I felt like a lot of effort went into the level. I felt like it really added a lot to the game, frustrating or no. I don't, I don't feel the same way about Strange Bedfellows or the Maw of Chaos. Both of these missions almost feel like filler to me. I don't think there is a way to mantle up over here, is there? No, I have to... get through the sparring room just like before. That's fine. Let's try and give the frog his freedom. move in behind him. That seems a lot smarter. Really? 
inside the novice's quarters. Didn't know he went in there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I figured that wasn't gonna end well. Now he's gonna find his way out, which is fine. Of course, perfect timing, as always. Is it really just beyond you to choose the eastern hallway one time? I think I know what the problem is. I think his patrol is currently distance deactivated. I think I have to get close to him to get him to start moving again. Then quickly back out. There we go. Oh, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna take the East Hall that time. Well, how do you like that? The truth is, I like it just fine. Because now I can get back upstairs. Same way we did so many times in Undercover. If Garrett will jump. Come on, G. Space bar. I'm pushing it. There we go. I gotta sneak all the way back through here to the other side. But that's actually a lot easier than it was the last time we were here. See, we can't go this way, so we have to sneak through this room. I forgot about that, but it's pretty easy to do as long as we stay quiet. This room is almost totally shadowed. The red spiders, which feature in the last two missions, are significantly tougher than their green counterparts. In addition to just having a lot more health, 
being more difficult to kill in that sense, they're also capable of firing webbing at you and magical bolts. They're superpower spiders. And there's some there's some goodies in this room. I think there are more broadheads lying somewhere in addition to this healing potion. You know, broadheads and healing potions are your thing. Got clear of that room just in time. I don't think anyone comes all the way out to the balcony. Can't remember if that's a broadhead or a rope arrow, but it's irrelevant. I think it's just a broadhead, though. Anyway, now we move on into the library. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 141. When the Builder came amongst his children and asked, Who is it that hath spoilt this work? Then didst his errant son answer, I do not know. Then didst the Builder cast down his son and smite him with his hammer. For is it not known that a mistake may be mastered, but a lie lasteth forever on the tongue? <laughs> it is worth looking through these because there's one new one. I can't remember which one it is, but... Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 170. The proof of the wall is that it stretcheth above the height of a man, lasteth beyond the span of a man. Our greatest works exceed us in all ways. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 199. A flaw in the gear will fade it to shatter. A flaw in the beam harbors the termite. A flaw in a man's righteousness encompasses his death. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 36. Time once past, the harlot did say to the priest, Tarry a while, and wait upon thy duties, and the priest did tarry. And then was the harlot scourged with birch branches, and was the priest crushed beneath the great gears, for the path of righteousness leads ever upwards to where it is perilous to fall. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 2. When the thief did cry to the master, Release me, for I repent, and shall do good all my days. Then did the master strike the thief's hand from him with a blade. And the master said, Go now and do good, for thy repentance has been paid. And I didn't realize it, but I think a spider's about to patrol into this room. Yep. I didn't know he came all the way in here, so... Let's read the last book. Here's the new one. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 39. Hadst I a hammer, wouldst I hammer in the morning, wouldst I hammer in the evening, all over this land. Uh, some of you who listen to dumb old music might recognize that and give it the chuckle it deserves. There we go. Okay. On through the rest of this room. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 7. When the builder walks before thee and builds for thee a fortress, wilt thou go inside and shut the door, or wilt thou say, Yes, and now I shall raise one of mine own? Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 94. Guard thy tongue from falsehood, as thou guardest thy purse from a jack blade Guard thy hand from misdeed, as thou guardest thy house from firelighters. Guard thy heart from doubt, as thou guardest thy tools from corrosion, for thy faith and thy tools are the best that thou hast. I am a wall builder, let my walls endure, from season to season, year to year, and age to age. Let my walls stand, while families toil, armies march, and empires fall. I am a wall builder, and my walls will stand always as a shield against evil. This I pray, that will the master builder grant. So now, we want, well, check out this room right quick. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 113. A stroke of thy chisel, once made, canst not be undone, but a stroke thou dost not make from fear is a worse flaw. Be not cautious, be correct. 
Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 12. The Builder gave thou the raw stuff of thy life. Make thou a great work of it, or thou mockest his gifts. When I was cold, thou taught of hearth and roof beam. When I was hungry, thou taught of pot and cauldron. When I was beset by foes, thou taught of spear and shield. Thy hammer pounds the nail, holds the roof beam. Thy hammer strikes the iron, shapes the cauldron. Thy hammer in my hand unto my foes. That's it. There's, there's some other gear in this room, but none of it matters to me. Now we need to sneak across this little hallway into the main chapel. I hope I've given myself enough space to do that with the patrollers. I think so. Once we're in here, I think we're safe from the patrollers. I'm not certain enough to save, though. <laughs> not before I get to a shadow, anyway. There we go. Now things get different, and they also get easier. Then didst the builder lay down his hammer, and take his chisel to hand. Smoothed he the rough gem, and shaped it to his will. For each task hath its tool, and every tool a task. More arrows. And now we'll head down into the caves. This is where things get different, but the caves are very, very easy to move through. There are plenty of arrows lying around for those who are interested. All I'm interested in is getting the builder's chisel, which we'll have to do for an objective later, and then getting out of here. I can't remember if it's three or four monkey men total down here. I think... I think it's three. That's not the right room. The chisel is guarded by a couple of spiders, but I was hearing the wrong hisses just then. Anyway, you see, you can see all the arrows on the ground. There's a fire arrow inside that burning fire. Yeah, I didn't think that was fast enough, so. Let's up speed a little and get to this shadow. Let him buy. Yes, the chisel's over here. You hear these spiders first alerting like bosses. Alright, let's let this, uh, let's let that monkey get by. So we can plan our entrance into that room a little better. And he went full on search mode. How do you like that? So you see the green spider straight ahead. There's also a red spider off to the right. But we need to get into this room and get the chisel. I'm not worrying about those first alerts because this is impossible to do without first alerts anyway. But... Word is... You can... You can run and jump into this room and manage to only get first alerts.
There we go. We got in with only first alerts. Now we'll creep around. Ever cognizant of butt vision. And snag the chisel. Word is we can leave the same way. Let's find out how accurate that is. Obviously we can't. Oh good, only first alerts. Jolly good. Now pretty much everything hard about this mission is over. I mean just move down this ramp. Stay on the outer edges of this room to avoid getting spotted by people underneath us. Using the term people loosely, of course. If you want them, there are elemental arrows to be had in each of the rooms that pretty obviously correspond to the elements. Moss arrow, there's a fire arrow in there. And then when we get to the other side of this beam, which is easier than you might think because of the shadows in the center, Oh, Garrett, come on. Not a perfect shadow. Okay, I thought it was. I bet if we just get a little bit out of the way. Oh, but he wants to go back to where he just came from. Nice. So let's sprint all the way across. There we go. So in here you can find water arrow and gas arrows, obviously, and if we go down these stairs we'll find the Hammerites. Ah, tis thee, the master thief. There is scant time to explain. The tricksters, foul beasts, have captured our high priest, and if we cannot retake him alive, all shall be lost. Also, our enemies hold the builder's chisel which thou must recover. We lack thy skills of stealth and treachery, and our enemies must surely kill him should we make a bold attempt. Take this key and map and go. May the Builder guide your steps. So now they're getting into a fight. We do... We do need this blue key. And let's look at this. It's a very nice detailed map of the cave system we're in. This is where we are now, this is where we need to go. And then we get into another network of caves. Even more caves. Really pretty detailed, but really the rest is quite simple. Oh, the papyrus disappeared. I was gonna return it, but it's gone. 
No matter. Anything that disappears from your inventory is excused. Bust it all the way back upstairs. And head into here. You're free to just move all the way along in the outer rooms. There's no reason to venture into the inner chambers at all. Unless you're going after the insect beasts. Is this the right one? No, we gotta go a little farther. That's right, you gotta go all the way around. Just about. When you see this down ramp, you know you're ready. Oh, not quite yet. Even farther. Okay, yeah, she literally go all the way around. And then you'll be at the right down ramp. Getting through here is pretty easy, too. No one patrols, so just stay behind all of them. They really almost gave you too much darkness to work with. Then you get in here, it's very easy to grab the high priest. Me? Nobody, nothing. Well, that's that's an unnecessary first alert, so let's not take that if we can help it. Dang it. I keep forgetting to quick save before heading into the main room. Which is just laziness on my part. Okay, wait for him to turn away. And move into the room. Beautiful. Make sure to grab. Make sure he doesn't see you take the high priest. Now, technically, Supreme Ghost requires us to return the blue key to the siege window. So I am... I am gonna do that. I'll show you how. If we have the High Priest and the Chisel there with us, of course, the mission ends, but... It's pretty easy to get around that little snag. Sometimes, on the rare occasion, going faster is actually the answer. So you saw how easy all of this was. You can just repeat it going backwards. Head all the way around the outer circle. That's far and away the easiest thing to do.
can get back here. Head back out the door. Free lock to the door. I'm gonna carry the priest with me for now. Now I think he's gonna turn the other way. Now he should head either all the way across or at least to the other side. It should let me zip into here. I'm gonna leave the high priest here momentarily. <clears throat> so I can return the key without the mission ending. And I'm gonna zoom right back up, grab the priest, and finish the level. Like I said, nice and easy. Just a couple of tricky parts. Up in the, up in the main uh, chapel, that's where all of the hard stuff really is. Getting the chisel was a little hairy, but not too bad. I just had to land the running and jumping exactly right. So there we go. I forgot to show you the new objectives at the siege window. They were to find the hammer high priest, return the high priest to the besieged hammers, and retrieve this builder's chisel the hammerites seem to think is so important. Anyway, with all that done... That took 34 minutes, 15 seconds. We found 100 loot out of 100, picked three locks, zero backstab, zero knockouts, no damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and no one killed. Campaign totals, time so far, 30 hours, 41 minutes, 10 seconds. Loot so far, 34,356, which is all of the loot in the game. Good for us, and we ghosted every mission except the, at least ghosted every mission except the Haunted Cathedral, which, lighting the fire required us to take a bust from one of the spiders and we've dealt 290 damage which is a reminder 270 to the hammer haunts in return to the cathedral plus 20 in the training mission to the dummy and the sparring partner and we've received zero damage I regret to inform you that we will not be able to ghost the maw of chaos for very similar reasons that we couldn't ghost the haunted cathedral. The final mission, near the very end, requires us to use a fire arrow which will unavoidably put two different patrollers into full alert, into search alerts. So, the maw is not ghostable because of that shot, but I will show it to you ghosting as best I can nonetheless, and that'll be it. We only have one mission left. I'll see you then. Make a save here at the end. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.